Good morning. I bet you're surprised to see me. I'm surprised to be here, but I just place and she couldn't get live to work on her computer. So here I am. So I've had three minutes. I am, I'm going to, I'm going to go with this today. The chosen word is forgiveness or forgive to forgive. That's not always an easy thing. You might have something ruminating around in your head about resenting someone or or not being able to forgive someone. Things along that line. What what it hap what happens is when you don't forgive, you might as well be carrying a sack of bricks on your back. Um, each each brick reminds you of someone forgiven, whether it's for your, to yourself. And um, forgiveness is a huge burden. And the thing is, oftentimes the person you need to forgive even acknowledge that they've done something you need to forgive. Forgiveness is something really more for you than anyone else. So to try to un burden carrying on your back. Let's take a minute to just close your eyes and breathe in deeply. And then let it out. Letting out is the forgiveness. You know, we're all humans, fallible, fallible. We all make mistakes. We all do something that we'd rather we hadn't. Sometimes we do things we don't, that may hurt people. Someone may have a resentment toward you. You may have a toward someone else that they don't even know. You're the one burden. So let's take a walk down a path to the beach. You have a big bag of bricks to haul with you. And each one of those bricks reminds you of something that you're upset with somebody over, that you resent, that happened, whatever. So as we walk, I want you to carry that bag of bricks, not on your back. And I want you, as you walk down this path, you're up kind of on a and you're going to walk carefully down this path. And so you toss out the first brick. Someone you didn't forget. You walk a little further and then there's another brick. You know what that brick is for and who that brick is for. Get that brick, hold on to it, forgive it, and let it go. And you walk, and you really would appreciate having a lighter load. So, Only you know who that brick is for. You let it go. You walk a few more feet and you realize that the next holding on to that bag 
that you have with the bricks left in it. So now you have something or someone you really were upset with or angry with. That's worth three bricks. Forgive them, forgive them, forgive them, and toss them. The path is a little clear now. A few more feet, eight or ten feet, and you have another obstacle. And you need to get rid of two or three more bricks so that you can get around that obstacle. Still carrying your bag. So you let those bricks go and you start to feel the burden that you'd been carrying lifted. The resentment, the anger, the hurt. You're learning to just forgive it and let it go. Now you've gotten around that obstacle. You walk about 20 more feet. You're getting closer to the beach. And you look at your bag and you've only got maybe four or five bricks left. So you set the bag down and you take out each brick, brick by brick. Think about what it represents. Forgive it and let it go. And you do that with the next brick. Forgive it and let it go. And the next brick. Forget it and let it go. And then finally, the last brick or two, toss it aside. But you have to pick up the bag. It's empty now. And now you can walk the last few feet or so toward the beach. On your left, as you're walking down the path, is a trash can. You put that bag in that trash can. By putting that bag in that trash can, you no longer have something to carry that burden with of unforgiveness. So what this has done is it's given you a new start. You walk toward the beach. And you stand there. And you let the waves just kind of come around your ankles, maybe all the way up to your knee, and let it wash away. Feel the clean, clean feeling of forgiving, of forgiveness, to be able to forgive. Forgiveness is a gift. It's a gift to you, and it's a gift to the other person. They may not even know they need to be forgiven by you. But just let it go and start all over again. Okay, let's kind of come back to the now. And... This is uh, from an August 28th, 2020 uh, daily word. I find freedom in forgiveness. I find freedom in forgiveness. I find freedom in forgiveness. Forgiveness allows healing, and healing can't happen unless you're ready to forgive. So I invite you today to open up to healing, 
and forgive wherever anything or anyone needs to be forgiven. Just let it go. Lay your burden down and walk towards healing. Have a great Thursday. See you next Wednesday.